Happy Pi Day! It's the Pi Day of the century, with the date approximating Pi far better than usual. If we eat Pi at 9.26 and 53 seconds, our time will approximate Pi to 10 digits. Awesome! Except, Taoists are taking this as a good moment to point out that Super Pi Day only makes sense in the US, Canada, and Belize, because the month-day-year system is a bit unpopular. It doesn't go from general to specific, like year, month, day, or from specific to general, like day, month, year. Rather, it seesaws back and forth. It's like giving an address by first specifying a state, then a house number, then a city, then a street, and finally a country. Sure, it gives all the right information, but the ordering is just confused. Why are we celebrating circles on dates that just kind of look like the decimal approximations of circle constants? Why not just celebrate circles? Let's have a non-denominational holiday that the pious and Taoists can enjoy together. Finally! No more putting a focus on that silly factor of two and bickering over which circle constant is the best when we should be celebrating math and circles and the fact that there is a fundamental constant relating to circles and spheres and other round, curvy things. Like the Earth and the Sun and this nice path that we make around the Sun roughly once a year. Say, we could celebrate every time we make one full trip around the sun. That sounds round. Okay, technically we're already doing that with Pi Day, but that day was chosen kind of arbitrarily with respect to our actual round the sun trip. We should come up with a circle day that relates to our revolution about the solar system better. Fortunately, thanks to the Earth's tilt, there are some sensible candidates. Two days mark the longest and shortest days of the year, the solstices, and two days have roughly equal day-night cycles everywhere, the equinoxes. We can even chart out these days and see that they form a nice kind of cycle. Days getting longer, and nights getting shorter, and nights getting longer, and days getting shorter. Oh, hey, that looks like a sine wave, which makes sense, since trigonometric functions are also called circle functions, and we can define the sine function off of a unit circle. And the whole point here is to choose a day that is fundamentally about circles. You might think that it would be nice to have our non-denominational circle day on the longest day of the year, but that would put it on the shortest day of the year on the other side of the equator, which is not so good. On the other hand, there's something nice about celebrating on equinoxes. After all, when we compare our earlier chart to a sine function, we can see sine pi and sine tau have the same value and correspond to the equinoxes. And we already celebrate two circle days, one on March 14th for pi and one on June 28th for tau. But wouldn't it be nicer to have our two circle days be half cycles apart, like the numbers are in real life, rather than just three months? So, this Pi Day, let's agree to focus on how awesome circles are by celebrating on non-denominational circle day, March 20th.